Uh, we're waking up uh, uh, to another word that's being banned. Yeah. Basically, it's a TRL, MTV's you know hit show there, Total Request Live, has banned the word suicide. Suicide. From Sean Kingston's uh, just massive hit song. Isn't that a big part of the song? Yeah. Yeah, it's uh, Beautiful Girls. Beautiful Girls. I even know this beautiful song. Beautiful Girls. Because my, my, my seven-year-old niece sings it, and she loves the part where the, where the where it goes, suicide, hmm. suicidal, or whatever. Yeah. But, well, you know, MTV and TRL has decided that, ah, can't have that. So they're banning the word suicide from this hit song. <laughs> and now you got us, like, sitting here, you know, on the radio going, this isn't you know, this isn't. It is insane, though. Yeah. You can't ban words. Stop. Oops. Just stop already. Drop my iPhone. Oh boy. Good thing it's got the rubber baby buggy bumpers on it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. You stop. Stop with the banning words, especially in this day and age, because the internet is becoming more and more powerful. We all know that. Most of us are spending uh, probably more time on on our computers than watching TV. Yep. And TV's in a weird situation right now. You know, they're they're scared S-less of the internet. I mean, you, you watch TV on a regular basis and they're 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 pushing their own websites now and everything. They're trying, and they're trying to make some of these shows look like you're watching the web. Right, right. Like there's that one uh it starts with an I of course because everything internet has to start with an I. And uh they show clips. It's like a clip show. Yeah. Of internet stuff. It's, why? Why? Why am I watching that on TV? Why don't I just go to the internet? It's funny that uh, you know TV was so far behind as far as the mm -hmm. internet goes, and now they're trying to play catch up, and they're they're scared, man. I mean, I watched the insider that dumb gossip show about all the you know what's going on in Hollywood and stuff. Yeah, and they don't do their whole sh whole whole show anymore. They'll they'll leave one or two stories and go. If you want to find out what's going on with this, go to theinsider.com or whatever the hell it's called. Yep. You know, they're pushing, pushing. Driving traffic. They're trying to drive their own traffic to their own websites because they understand this is major competition at this point. Mm -hmm. So I, I don't understand MTV's logic to actually start banning words when people already are looking at TV like it's lame. Because they're the same dummies that didn't see this coming to begin with. So now that these dummies are trying to push people to their dumb shows on the <laughs> Internet, they're still showing you TV versions on the Internet. Right. Nobody, my girlfriend and I are watching uh, 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 some Shark Week, which uh, we like. Mm -hmm. uh, we were watching some old Shark Weeks on the, on the DVD set we got when, when uh, they came in. And they were showing shark reenactments. <laughs> There's some really good footage of shark attacks. But occasionally they show you the reenactment, which is just, a, it's bubbles yeah. and then red stuff in the water. Red stuff. Yeah, yeah. And, and like a bad fin that obviously somebody's just shaking with their hand. <laughs> in the water. <laughs> red stuff, fin shake. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And she's like, I don't want to see reenactments. And I'm like, y I I you can't watch a reenactment anymore when you can go online mm -hmm. and find all of the real shark attack yeah. videos. Which they'll show a lot of on Shark Week, but they'll, they'll, they'll cut some well, of the truly yeah. graphic stuff. Well, this is the point with MTV, though. You, I mean, the people that would watch TRL, what's what's the age group, seriously? 12 to um, pushing 20, maybe? Yeah. Okay, those people are, are you know, really understand the internet. So so if you turn around and say, well, we're going to bleep suicide from this uh, Sean Kingston song, these people, that demo, pfft. They're gone, man. They're gonna go on the internet. And go, oh, you guys are so effing lame. I, we don't. I don't need you anymore. And the ratings for TRL are drastically dropping over yep. the last few years. Uh, someone else is pointing out that Lincoln Park's uh, song. They they uh, they bleep out the word noose and bleed it out. It's just this is just stupid, what? stupid programming. Especially MTV's audience. I mean, like words like noose and suicide. How is your target audience supposed to know how to deal with their problems? <laughs> I mean, that's the answer. We all know that. When things are too bad, you stick your head in an oven. <laughs> I don't understand why MTV would remove that option. Is there a song with oven in it? <laughs> <laughs> Probably not. That's for the older demo. It yeah. really is. If you're over 70 and you want to off yourself, oven. find an oven and stick your head in it. <laughs> Pill pillow. <laughs> what is MTV doing? Uh, Major League Baseball doesn't use suicide squeeze term anymore. It's, it's, it's not true. We're just a Adam. Of, Americans are a bunch of phonies. Mm. Adam, where'd you get that? Uh, you know what, I actually read it in the paper this year, and I heard it on a uh, Fox broadcast. They don't call it a suicide squeeze, they call it a sacrifice squeeze now. A sacrifice squeeze? It was called a suicide squeeze. We're here at, uh, and how many people Fox are, are calling it a homicide squeeze to take the <laughs> attention off of the suicide person and... 
What what is yes, what purpose that does that serve? How many people off themselves because some dumb baseball announcer said suicide squeeze? Yeah. We're in, we're losing our minds. That's a good idea. Yeah. I either want to kill myself or have some fresh squeezed orange juice. All right. <laughs> Every time one person has a bad reaction to a word, the rest of the people go, "Ah, oh, we shouldn't say that anymore. Mm -hmm. That's bad." Well, here's uh, Sean Kingston. Just to you know, this is the song. It's <clears> it's <throat> huge. Say yo, Sean Kingston. Yo, way too beautiful girl. Just a clip. Don't worry. That's why yeah, really. You never work. You have me suicidal, suicidal. When you say it's over, damn all these beautiful girls. They only wanna do you dirt. They'll have you suicidal, suicidal. I uh, love the song, Reverend Al. The good one. I wonder what would happen if they would sing Calypso over the Stand By Me beat. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. That song is that song is massive, and that part of the song is the whole song. That's yeah. the hook that everyone sings. This is what MTV did with it. It's official MTV sucks. And I know we work for the wow. same company. You guys are the you guys are so stupid you don't even know oh how stupid God. you are. The internet is nipping at your heels and you're doing this crap on TV. You're popping in dead air. We don't work what for the same a, company. What? We don't work for the same company. That's no. Sort of it's all sort of connected. We spun off. All right, then then good, because I yeah, I was like, them. oh boy, this is But what are they doing? You're right, dude. The the internet the, it's it's the same mentality. What? They're getting their teeth kicked in by cable, and they don't look at the tools because they're so arrogant. People mm -hmm. that's, in, that's in, like, whether it's just radio or whether it's television, they're so arrogant that they don't think anything is going to come and, and pass them by, at least yeah. not in the current administration's lifetimes, so they don't have to worry about it. But now that it's creeping up faster than they saw, they're panicking, and they're sending people to their awful sites, like you just said, and it's just watered-down, emasculated drivel on the net. Nobody wants to see that on the net. No. And that's, if you went to their website, you'd hear the same thing. Let me make this perfectly clear once again. That is the whole song. That's yeah. not just a tiny little part of the song that you maybe could get away with. That is the hook. So there's a crap load of dead air in there. Crap load of... Yes. Yes. Because we only played like a, a quick uh, oh snippet, obviously. God. Can I say... Good How stupid is TV getting? Good for Sean Kingston's people because they gave him the option of putting in denial... In deni I think that's a, uh, a a lyric. They actually have an alternate lyric. Yeah. So MTV gave them the the option of submitting the one that has in denial, or of having it dropped. Yeah. And they said drop it. And by the way, this we're not going to change what we're doing. And you know, every year they have like the summer song. Sean, yeah. this song is probably the summer song this year. And I'd you know, love to know who the person is, the one person that made that decision. I guarantee you. I guarantee you, it's abroad mm -hmm. in standards and practices. Yeah. Well, here's Where the. She has fat calves and fat ankles, and she wears like a suit that's a little bit too tight for her, uh, like a bit, you know, woman's business suit. They don't want to admit that they're 35 and their fat hips are bulging out. <laughs> I guarantee that that's who pushed this. Hey, uh, here's the official statement from a spokeswoman for MTV. Oh, there you go. Mm -hmm. Of course. Uh, because we know suicide is an issue that so many members of our audience struggle with, we mm -hmm. do not take any references to suicide lightly. Yeah, but it's it's somebody's like. You know, whether you like it or not, it's somebody's art. You know, and they're kind of, that word that he wrote in there uh, is there for a reason. Uh, the, the, you know, it's the same he's thing. feeling suicidal. Like, why not yeah, but, you know, put it into a song? But they have no problem showing, <laughs> showing young broads, like, dressed in nothing, uh, shaking yeah. their hips. Isn't that great? That's okay. That, that's not influencing women, you dopes. Back to 1982. It, with it's so solution. selective with this crap. Ozzy Osbourne's Suicide Solution. A couple of kids kill themselves because they misinterpret the lyrics of the right. song. Because it's actually a song about Bon Scott and, and alcoholism. And uh, a couple of dummies blow their heads off because they don't understand what the song is really trying to tell them, which is don't drink. Yeah. And uh, all of a sudden, Suicide Solution is to blame. It's the same thing 25 years later. Same crap. Here we go. MTV says it doesn't have a list of words that are automatically censored, but instead consider everything contextually. 
Mm-hmm. Okay. Ugh. Well, that context seems to be the safest of any. It's in a song. It's not uh, being thrown around in a, a an irresponsible way. Well, this is. I'm so excited about the internet. I'm so excited that you can now watch, you know, videos and everything else, and yep. the quality is right there. You don't have to wait forever to download nothing anymore. What scares me though is all this crap is going to go to the internet next, where this is going to have all sorts of standards and it's a lot harder. I'm hoping, man. Right. I'm hoping because the the internet's all underground. You know, that's where most of your good stuff is. I'm hoping, and there's so many offshore sites. The only problem is they can block stuff from coming in. Yeah. Eventually, I think he's right though. They will be. They will. Do that. I mean, they mm. will block objectionable sites and. Uh, Great. And God bless uh, Michael Harrison. He's uh, he's fighting the good fight. He uh, works for Talkers Magazine. He's he's had a lot of things to say about us. He's always supported us in our problems. He says, uh, as far as this subject goes, commercial television is usually more sensitive about political correctness and obscenity and raw language than radio. Radio is usually more aggressive and more reflective of street mentality. Some stations do run the edited, in-denial version of Kingston's song, but warns Harrison, anytime you start censoring art, you're heading down the slippery slope towards censoring political speech because art is a form of political speech. Hmm. Where does it end? It really is amazing how people have found a way to take away what you what you want to say, and and yet they they say, well, no, no, we're not censoring your freedom. no, 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 it's not no, your freedom of no, speech. No, it's just Don't because say. of this. Yeah, it's like back in 1750, yeah. if you wanted to say certain things, well, no, no, we're not censoring you. Of course, we're the forefathers, but we just don't think that Negroes should vote or be free. <laughs> so don't right. say that because it's objectionable to uh, what our group mentality is. Yeah. And it's great, the, the big wigs at uh, MTV, like, I don't, I don't understand why the ratings are down. What happened? They're dropping. I don't, where is, where is everyone going? Maybe what? we ought to play those. When were our ratings really huge? Right. Okay, start playing Tubes videos again. Right. <laughs> and Blue Oyster Cult. Where are they going? Your audience is, is pretty smart. And then if they're not getting what they want from your dumb, you know, show, they're going to go to the Internet. Yep. They're going to the Internet. This is not the time to go uber conservative with your crap. There's an alternative. There's another There's an alternative. option out there that wasn't out there uh, years ago. You know who's ruining it? Lawyers. Hmm. The same lawyers we've had to sit and meet with are the same girls <clears throat> who, who they'll have to meet with. Not even the same guy, the same person, but the same mentality. We could be held liable right. if somebody does um, commit suicide uh, and wah, 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 parents wah, 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 deem wah, wah, that they were watching MTV wah, wah, and that song wah, wah, came wah, 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 could be wah. that we could be held liable. You want to hear that dead air again? <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> they don't want to do their jobs and defend the companies. So all they do is tell companies how to be pussies yeah. and not get yelled at. That's what lawyers do now. They don't tell companies how we'll defend you. It's be a pussy and let's not get yelled at at all. Yeah. Why do they right. make the same point twice? I don't know. I, I love hearing just the dead air with just the, the lame music in the background. That air is great. The hit song of the summer, and this is what they did to it. What dopes. Hey, yo, Sean Kingston. Yo, way to view. That's why it'll never work. You have me. <laughs> you have me what? Lean on me. You have me what? 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 You have me what? Damn, all these yeah. beautiful girls. They only want to do what you do. They'll have you. Have you what? Yeah. Have you what? Yeah. I feel unsatisfied. All they do, is and that's a real emotion, by the way, to to be suicidal when yeah. you get that just that despair over something. Oh. You're like, oh, oh, I want her. She doesn't want me. I'm, I'm, I'm. nothing I can do about right. it. They just put more emphasis on the word by removing it. <laughs> yeah. All you've done is go. What is that? It's like what? What word did they cut out? And then you have it not in context. You have it just alone, sitting there, going suicidal. That's the word that got taken out. In, in this, is, this is the equivalent of what they've done. We don't like that word, so we're going to print out the lyrics, but we're going to put suicidal in red. <laughs> yeah. This way you won't look at us. You'll just go right by it. That's pretty much what they did, yeah. Hey, is My Sweet 16 on MTV or VH1? MTV. MTV. I think that has uh, little girls killing themselves way more than a Sean Kingston song. <laughs> Showing uh, little girls all over America what they can't have ever, 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 yeah. ever, ever. Daddy bought me a Lexus. I think that would would bring some uh, people to suicide. <laughs> 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 oh, it's just insane. It, it really is insane. I don't get this on any level. I'm sorry. And I never will. Never will. 
All right, we got to take a quick break. Uh, we got tickets, man. We got the big show Saturday. Do we? Got the big show Saturday. The PNC is the big get as far yeah. as this comedy tour goes. Gonna although, be the although all the cities have been just unbelievable. The reviews sure. on yep. the show have been unbelievable. The, the fans have been coming out in droves. But uh, last year, we, uh, I don't know, we did like, what, 11,000 tickets at the PNC, something like that? And, something like that. And we're heading toward that again this year. Uh, we got a pair of tickets to the virus tour at the PNC Bank Art Center this Saturday, courtesy of Blades of Glory on DVD, in stores everywhere, Tuesday, August 28th. We'll take a random caller, so we got to hang up on everybody that had comments about this. Sorry. Uh, sorry about that. I'm hanging up on everybody. Sorry. Sorry. sorry I sorry, want to apologize sorry, sorry, to those sorry. Uh, callers. All right. A random caller gets no. tickets to the show this Saturday. Uh, go to Virus Tour. One word on MySpace for all the info. But uh, give us a call. 877-212-O-N-A. It's Opie and Anthony. Hey, the instant feedback going crazy uh, after that last break where we found out today that uh, MTV... Uh, their good old TRL show is uh, is censoring the word suicide and suicidal yeah. out of the, uh, the the smash hit from Sean Kingston. Uh, Spectro from Michigan writes, how many people are struggling with it? Maybe instead they should ban Dunkin' Donut commercials. Hmm. Uh, Spectro again, sounds like a job for the past. How about if we send in our version of the MT version by filling in the dead air? <laughs> hey, that's not a bad it's idea. Something more offensive. That's not a bad idea. And then Rex from Houston writes, "Thank, uh, thank you, MTV, for for protecting me from that evil word. I'm so glad I can't think for myself." Just yeah. some of the instant feedback coming in this morning. And now we got a um, a whole list of things that MTV has done: censoring music videos, taking words out. It, it's unbelievable, actually. You got a copy of this, Jimmy? I do. And again, the artists can always say no. We don't want to submit it. But, but the artists, you know, then, how are they going to say no to this, though? They, they they need their exposure. Yeah, you need your videos being played. You know, and uh, well, they could say no more now because the internet is finally, you know, getting to a place where they're they're getting some some nice exposure with yep. with their craft. Uh, which one you want to do here? There's, uh, there's a million e examples of MTV censoring. Some of these are ridiculous. One of the first ones, uh, they said, uh, apparently the words, we taken over, had the two words, work and supply, censored in this line. If you want, we can supply, got enough work to feed the whole town. I'm supposing those are drug references. Uh, huh. Oy. Who would know? I know. Uh, I like the, uh, yeah, hash pipe, Weezer's hash pipe. Remember that? Yep. The word hash was all obscured. This, I love this one. The old apartment video by Bare Naked Ladies had a scene removed where the protagonist rips a telephone off the wall. What? <laughs> what else? That was my old, uh, that's what my daddy did after uh, he threw the spaghetti against the wall. Weezer. My life should have been edited. <laughs> violent. Yeah, we, Weezer, we are all on drugs. We are all on drugs. Yeah. Uggs. Was yep. changed to "We Are All in Love," of course, which completely just changes the entire song. Of course, it does. <sighs> just silly geese. Uh huh. Uh, what else? Stink Jesus, Fist. Jesus, man. Yeah. I, I, Stink I, Fist by Tool was renamed track number one since the title was considered too offensive for public consum consumption. <laughs> <sighs> what else? What other ones uh, pop out at you guys here? Uh, System of Down's first video, "Sugar," was also their most censored video. Uh, as it censored the words mushroom, Russian, and anger, besides the usual censoring of the F word uh, in the song. Let me ask you about uh, uh, this. Russian. I'm sorry, man. I mean, uh, That's okay. There was, I'm, just, I'm just thinking about people who have been multiple times accused of pedophilia and gotten away with it. Um, Michael Jackson single, They Don't Care About Us. MTV has replaced the words Jew me and kike me with do me and strike me. In the mm. line, Jew me, sue me. Kick me, kike me, don't you black or white me. According to Jackson, the song had words to describe prejudice, and it was poor judgment to select Jewish people as uh, ex explanatory words. My thing is, why as an artist, and this is just hitting me, is he doing that, and even though they censored him, mm -hmm. there's no public outrage, there's no protest about racism. No. Why as an artist, was it, is, it, is it deemed acceptable by blacks for, for Michael Jackson to use that as an example of racism in his art. Why mm -hmm. is Imus not considered an artist who used race in his art, but Michael Jackson is? Just another example. Uh, Black people do me it. and uh, kike me. Do me, strike me. Now you can say that. I don't care. I will not defend certain people. 
They're very selective on who's very gonna, selective on who he's going to defend. <laughs> what an idiot! Hey, here's my favorite right here. Remember this song? Well, let me get ah. to the point. Let's roll another joint. Turn yeah. They wouldn't say joint, huh? They they took the word joint and reversed it. Well, let me get to the point. Let's roll. Another down, <laughs> what the hell is that? <laughs> Rule, you two gooders DVD are ruining idea. everything. I, I really think it's 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 about it's, the lawyers. I, I really think that everybody is so so happy. Oh, they're like, you yeah. know what? We're not getting sued for it, and the lawyers will never just, they, oh. just take that out. Just take that out. Take that reference out. Well, when are the, the, when the, are the lawyers going to be held responsible? When are the lawyers going to be held responsible when all the ratings drop for, for all these shows on TV and the, the ratings drop for popular radio shows? When do they? When are they held responsible and lose their jobs? That's what I ask today. Never. Because we sit through these meetings, and they make our lives a living hell and make it harder and harder to broadcast on a regular basis, and they just go about uh, collecting huge paychecks, and they'll continue the, the, doing their job long after we're gone with another show here. Mm -hmm. How when are, when are they held responsible? And someone goes, you know what? Dude, you, you're taking this too far. Uh, you're fired. Yep. Fire a lawyer. Wake them up. You're fired. How often do people sue for, like, their kids killing themselves and actually win with a company? It's like, don't you think the money you're paying these lawyers every year is less than you'd have to pay to the... It's almost like when a car company comes out with a defect. Yeah. A lot of times they do a cost-effective thing. Do we leave the defect in and take the lawsuits that come with the injuries? Mm -hmm. Will that be more or less expensive than recalling all the cars and fixing the defect? I know. I saw Fight Club. Yeah. That was in Fight Club. <laughs> I didn't see that in Fight Club. I never saw Fight Club. Oh, no? That was in the Gene Hackman movie where he was a lawyer and his daughter was the opposing lawyer. You know, oh, I saw it in cheesy. Fight Club. Yeah. Really? Where Edward Norton uh, describes it while he's sitting in the plane. Oh, oh, never saw it. Yeah. Oh, you've never seen Fight Club? No, I've not. Are you crazy? Oh, Jimmy. Never saw it. Really? I love Fight Club. Yes, you did. I swear to God, I've never seen Fight Club. Although the book is way better. Is it? Okay, I'll no, see the movie first. <laughs> see the movie first. No, no, read the book first. No, 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 that room. Movie first always. No. Movie first always. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> Something like that, you got to see the movie first. I watched the movie while reading the book quickly. <laughs> yes. That's another way to do it. You try to keep up? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Watch the movie, but read happy endings while you're watching it. Ooh. How about that? There you go. Two I'll be signing things. it in Boston this Thursday. Thank oh, you. Oh, no problem. Problem. Really, Jimmy? I like sliding in like that. Another fine Boston visit for little Jimmy this, Norton? This is my fi I believe this will be the final signing I do. It's at Barnes & Noble. I got so many emails from Boston, they were annoyed that I didn't actually do Boston. So 6 o'clock this Thursday at Barnes & Noble on the Prudential Center, and I'll be on Toucher and Rich on our fine station, BCN. Hmm. Uh, 4 p.m. Finally get to go up and do radio with those guys. Boylston nice. Street. The Barnes & Noble on Boylston Street. Cool. Very cool. Uh, let's say hi to Ron in Jersey. Ron? Ron. What's up? Yeah. I, I just want to remind you guys. You remember Beavis and Butthead? Yeah. No. Uh, no. Yeah, you don't remember none of that. <laughs> what? Uh, I don't remember yeah. that show. Hey, you remember it was one of the greatest shows little, ever. Some little douche pyromaniac decided to light his house on fire, and then they totally ruined one of the best bits they ever did. Yeah, um, they blamed it on Beavis saying fire. fire. And uh, and and made made it so Beavis couldn't say fire anymore. They they censored a cartoon character. <laughs> well, did Beavis? Did, did they lose a lawsuit or no? I don't uh, know. If they actually got don't a know. Lawsuit or not? Yeah, I don't, don't know if it was settled or something like that. But they were definitely blaming uh, the cartoon because the kid would walk around going fire, 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 and then the kid lit him, you know, lit himself on fire somehow. Did he ever did? Best right. bit they ever did. All right, All right, right. guys, punch it out. Thanks. Right. I like how they took care of it one time. They take jabs at that. One time, uh, there was a broken pipe, and Beavis just started going, water, water, water. That's ah, it's not as fun. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't as fun. <laughs> Let's go to Colorado, Eric. What the hell are you doing? Eric? Oh, morning, boys. Good morning, Eric. Hey, uh, you know, uh, the theme music to MASH is all about suicide. Yes. A couple of weeks ago, I was yes. in the original movie. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Hold on, hold on, Eric. We're, you know, you got to slow down a little bit. So we're yesing. Wait, it's you, a little give and take here. You have to say that again now. Just say, what is the, uh, what yeah, start is, over. What is the MASH theme music about? It's about suicide. Yes, yes, <laughs> of <Okay>. course. <laughs> I love that. Thank you. Got it. <laughs> Anyhow, a couple of weeks ago, I was watching the movie, and the part where they are uh, playing the song and singing it, all of the words were gone. It was just the music, and it completely ruins the movie when they do that. 
Oh. What, the, wait, so... Uh... Oh. The creepy vocals. Yes! <laughs> Rosemary and thyme. Shh. Don't play that. Hippie crap. I like this, though. <laughs> Goddamn hippies. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. I could listen to that all day. It is great. So, so much, by the way, it's, it's actually much more recognizable without the lyrics. Like, the beat is more famous than the song with the lyrics. So, yeah. Eric, uh, what, mm -hmm. what channel played uh, the MASH movie and edited that out? You know, I don't remember. I think it was, it, I want to say it was FX, but it might have been one of the other channels. FX. I doubt it was FX. They probably made them put more suicide references in. <laughs> yeah. I had no idea that suicide was one of these, uh, one of these words. One of these words. It words been, hurt. It's, a, it's amazing how su suicide has nothing to do with, with, with people listening to lyrics. Yeah, hearing the it words. And... Oh, All right, thank you. How about, uh, how about this little tune? Yeah. Everybody, yeah. everybody, yeah. get into it, yeah. get stupid. Come on. Retarded. This was the theme song for the Retarded Laverne Shirley yeah. when they would come on our show. Get retarded in half. Yeah. Well, now it's uh, now it's um, now it's this. Get it started. Wow. Yeah. I'm sorry, your son has started. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we're going to do, you know, as a society. All these do-gooders out there trying to ban all these words, you know. And I'm talking about all races, all colors, all everybody. Yeah. We're just going to come up with new words. That's, new words. That's just human nature, man. New words that hurt. New words that hurt. That's what we're going to do. We need version 2.0 of words that hurt. That's that's uh, what it comes down to in the end. We're not going to change as human beings. We're going to always make fun of uh, uh, people that don't look like us or think like us. You know what really got like me us. also? It, it ties into the, uh, the tragic uh, story of the two firefighters that were killed over uh, at the Ground, Ground Zero, Zero in the, that stupid building over yeah, there. Yeah, for the rest of America, we down. had a huge uh, huge fire uh, over the weekend, I guess, and uh, we lost two, man. Yeah. We lost two guys. A damn drag. But uh, I was reading the transcripts of uh, the radio communication between the firemen and uh, command and the guys that were outside the building and uh, just... Really compelling and horrifying uh, transcripts of what these guys are going through inside there. And there's a lot of use of what are deemed bad words. You know, bad words. Seriously? What words? Yeah, I, I haven't the, read this transcript the S yet. word. You know, there, it's, it's the way people really talk in real life situations. You cannot be in a more real life situation than that. You know, and, and these are professionals. These are professional people doing their job that they, they know is dangerous. They know how to do it uh, uh, to the best of their ability. And they're still using these words. So why is it so bad to have them used in, in certain places and, and certain other contexts when it's being used every day? I mean, you know, you, you go, I'm sure you go uh, up to Capitol Hill. You'll, you'll hear that word a lot. I'm sure you hear a lot of other words. But for some reason, we, we have this illusion. These people have this illusion that they think no one's using these words. They're never being used. Take them out of movies. Don't put them in video games. Don't do this. Don't use them on the radio or TV. We're upset that we have to see, uh, like, uh, like uh, uh, Rescue Me. They use them on uh, uh, bad words all the time on that, what's considered bad words. It's on FX. And people get upset about it. It's like, that, that's the way people talk. You want realism? That's the way people talk. 
when you look at European commercials and Americans, one thing Americans love to do is we love to deny who we are. Mm -hmm. We love denying that. Like for a long time, we denied we were racist. But we, you know, blacks couldn't vote, and yet you know, in the fifties, it was still like apple pie and mom, and yeah, was great in this country. We just like to deny our, our sexual desires. That's why when you look at European commercials, they'll make sexual references or innuendos or be oh, very yeah. funny, and we don't do any of that. You know, it's always the empowered gal waving her shoes. I bring home the bacon, bub, and uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's what Americans do. We we, we really are fraudulent, man. It's really beginning mm -hmm. to annoy me. As a country, we're just phony. Yeah. Yeah. We deny who we are and what we like. Hey, can I yeah. jump in here? Uh, another reason just to find the local radio station to listen to the Opie and Anthony show. XM is screwing up more and more lately. You know that whole let's get retarded, let's get it started, and uh, and the mash theme with the lyrics? No yeah. one on the XM side heard it. So just just tune over why? to your local station because they got it all figured out. I don't know why. I'm sick of trying to figure out Wait, why. Wait, what? The right. phones are echoey at times. Uh, I don't know. Wait, that's ridiculous. That's coming in like crazy. And I know people hate when I say like crazy. Was but it a technical glitch? I have no idea. Uh, what do you got on that, Than? That's, uh, that was not XM's mistake. Oh. That was uh, whoever set up the board this morning did not have a, a certain button to press that sends oh, that's good. stuff from, you know, certain things to, over to XM. Wait oh. a minute, so XM did not screw up. Who, who's Way to make me look bad. Sorry, but... Ah, screw XM anyway. <laughs> for other things that you know. Wait, was that you who didn't hit the thing? Or was, no, you know, I no, it no, I who sets the board up? Please, there? Jimmy, please. The gentleman who normally does it is not in today. So mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so what is? are they going to be able to hear it on that side? Yeah. yeah, the button got pushed and now it's fine. What button? Utility, Utility button. Oh, right. So on the uh, replay, I'm thinking to we'll, add it in. We'll fix it. <laughs> fix it. All right, All right, great. Just fix it. Well, I think that XM is owed a something. Uh, I'm never wrong. I, I, <laughs> I stand by what I said. Oh, they're... they're oh. <laughs> this one was on us. XM didn't do it. It was us. And, uh, right. They're wrong about something. They are. <laughs>